Hello boys and girls. Our next knot is going to be the clove hitch. For the clove hitch, you'll need your piece of wood, a spar like that. Now that's a bit of broom handle, but it can be a spoon handle or it can be a ruler. Anything big enough and firm enough that you can tie a knot around it. And an ordinary piece of rope. There's nothing special about this. So here's our ordinary piece of rope, and here's how we do our clove hitch. We don't need the spar for now, so let's put that up there out the way. The first thing we're going to do with our rope, I've slid my hand a little bit along to one end, and I'm going to put a twist in there. Can you see that twist I just made? Twist in there like that, and I'm going to hold that with my thumb and forefinger. And I'm going to do exactly the same again. Put a twist in it so that the rope comes in front. There you are. And I'm going to hold that like that. Now what we're going to do, I have two loops. Can you see that? They're both exactly the same. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the first loop, the right hand loop, and I'm going to put it on top of the left hand loop. Now, this looks a bit messy at the moment, but if you then take your spa, your spoon handle, your ruler or whatever, and you fit it through the holes and then you just pull it tight. Give it a neat little push up together like that. And there is your clove hitch. And the clove hitch is another of those knots. The more you pull on it, the tighter it becomes. And it doesn't really matter which end you pull on it will always tighten up on itself as long as there is an a pull on one end or the other to undo the clove hitch take your rope close to the knot and just push in slightly and you'll see that it, it comes undone very easily okay let's re refresh with that one one loop, two loops. Take the first loop and put it on top of the second loop. Get our spar, put our spar through the middle and just pull it tight. There is our clove hitch. Thank you.